We're starting the recording now because I just want to get this over with. If you just have to, if you just have to, something. I don't care what. The, I don't care what day of December this is. We're watching Jack Frost. I don't want to watch it, but we're gonna watch it. I, I, <laughs> like, why are you recording? Why are you recording? Because hey, we, I just want to get it over with. He's starting to be screaming at the microphone. He's starting. No, no, no. That no. that'll that'll help. Where's my list? No. Where's my list? Linda, my list? Linda, honey, Linda, listen, listen it's to December me. That'll 7th. work. It's December seventh. We're gonna watch Jack Frost. Um, and then tomorrow is prep and landing. Ooh, something actually good. I don't want to watch Jack Frost. I don't know why I put it on the list, but I did. I am wearing a Fortnite onesie. I got it at the dollar store because they had it for some reason. So that that just explains my current mood. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch Jack Frost now, okay? My God. Um. Anyway, uh, what's your guys' general thoughts on the movie? Wanna, I don't want to watch Jack Frost. That's my I don't think I've ever seen it actually. We are watching Jack Frost. We gotta watch it. It's our obligation. <laughs> it was in the teaser. It's our obligation to watch Jack Frost. No matter this how much we like to watch it. This snowman looks like a Ninja Turtle. I've oh. never seen this movie actually. I, I just, I've seen it. It's not that bad. I just really don't want to watch Jack Frost. I want to watch Prep and Landing Man. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pop, do you have anything to say about it? I don't want to watch it. <laughs> None of us want to watch it, but you know what? We're going to watch it. We'll see you guys after we go and watch it, alright? Goodbye. We're back. We're about to watch the movie. I just... I don't want to watch it. I want you all to realize I do this for you. So, after the movie, after we're done suffering, Looking at the poster, just looking at his freaking face with his weird eyebrows, his cork nose, and weirdly colored eyes. It's God, supposed to be a carrot. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Why is it a cork? I don't want to watch it. <laughs> we do this hey, for all fifteen of you. We're... <laughs> hey, we're gonna suffer together. Isn't that what Christmas is all about? It's still suffering. <laughs> Putting up with people and having to share an experience. I just... Uh, I don't, oh. don't want to watch it. <laughs> oh. like, there's, nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with the movie itself because I've seen it, but I just... I just don't want to watch it. Well, you guys you gotta suffer with us. At least they don't yeah. have to watch it. Yeah. It's easy for them. Just, yeah. they, just pretend we're them when they would have to watch it, you know? I'll try when we're watching this this absolute masterpiece of a movie. Look. I forgot to read the IMDB. Yet. Hold up. I gotta go on the IMDB. Good thing I, um... Rec I, uh, we recorded that in such a hastiness. The intro. So this is... The, I consider this a second intro. This is a bonus intro. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just listen to the pretty music while I look up. Um, I look up. Uh, you know. Tastiness. No. Did you no, actually no. put music on the other ones? I'm not sure if you did. Yeah, I put music on the other ones. It's just a like an hour loop of um, Christmas music. It's it's nice. It's pretty. Is it quiet <laughs> enough? Oh yeah, it's quiet. It's quiet what enough. It's not like that ring. Oh god. Oh Why? god, it looks so bad. Why does okay. he look like a bad puppet? I've never seen so this is. a bad puppet. <laughs> Wait till okay. you see the CG. Okay. Oh boy. A father this is who can't keep his fun. promises dies in a car accident. One year later, he returns as a snowman whose final chance to put things right with his son before he's gone forever. <laughs> it sounds what? like a fake movie. <laughs> this is starring Michael Keaton. It has a 4.6 out of 10 on IMDb. It goes for 141 minutes. Oh no! Wait, an hour and forty-one minutes. It released on December eleventh, nineteen ninety-eight. Oh my goodness! It oh wait, it's not November eleventh. Right, never mind. I thought it was November twelfth. That was like, oh wow, it's like the twenty-two year anniversary, but I guess not. It's rated PG. It should be rated R because no child should ever look at this. I think there's a bad words in this one. 
Well, it's PG. I mean, let's 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 look at the reason why it's PG. Let me um, yeah. go like the, go to the parenting thing. <laughs> you don't want to search the out. movie. Here we go. Search the movie. Here, then your parent, parents guide. Okay, sex and nudity. Here we are. During a snowball <laughs> fight, two snowballs land on the snowman's chest. The, sm the snowman mm. moves the two snowballs a little up and down. And says, "I don't think so." No. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, this ain't a PG movie. This is NC seventeen. I love when I love I love when they they, they have like the uh, the sexual things in it, and it just says his like two characters share a short kiss. <laughs> For profanity, one possible use of the word I can't say that word. Uh, two darns, one butt. That's not butt. You know what I mean? With uh, one crap. One opposite of heaven, and one use each of God and oh my God as exclamations. Wonderful. Wow, so obscene. How did this get a PG rating? I know, right? Freaking snowman with his snow titties. Snow titties. <laughs> Gonna need extra forks for that. <laughs> I really don't want to watch this movie. I don't want Suffer. to. Suffer. I don't want to witness no titties. <laughs> hey, come on, Chowderhead. Well, that's, that's, that's gotta do this. That's his shirt right there. Just, I don't want to witness no titties. I, I, I should honestly make that shirt now. Yeah. Hey, if, uh, if you're really, if you're, like, really wanting to hurry up, then, uh, just don't pause the movie at all. It's, it's just... <laughs> I... <laughs> I just don't want to witness the snow titty. All right, all right, we're gonna go watch it and suffer now. <laughs> Catch y'all on the flip side. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy our suffering. Bye. Oh, what's going on? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Hey, hey, calm down. Don't worry your pretty little head. The fake snowman is dead now. He's not gonna hurt you. He's fake. It's just a movie. It wasn't that it wasn't that bad. Hey, it's alright. It's just a movie. There's no such thing as snowmen. Can't look hey, behind Ah! Uh, uh. Any hoodlies, um. Uh. So, while Kit pulls himself back together, how about we look at some reviews of the movie? Uh. No, he's not outside. He's not he's real. Watching. No, he's real. He's watching me. Let's look at some user reviews. Uh, it's what? What? <laughs> somebody gave me the. Somebody gave this movie a ten out of ten. What is wrong with you? What? Written by Paul Muscat, September fifth, no. two thousand. What I it's thought not was a ten. A out of 10. What no, I it legitimately thought... made me scream. He came close to the camera, dude. And it scared me. I screamed. Okay, tell us, tell us the story. What I thought so was essential. Oh. 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 Uh, 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 you can tell the story first, and then I'll okay. do the reviews. All right. Let me tell you about my PTSD <laughs> I have now. I. <laughs> he was spinning around the camp, spinning around, and he like came up close to the camera, and it scared me. I legitimately screamed. He, um, he was like, he was like, I hope it doesn't come up, come up, come close to the screen. Scream. <laughs> I really did scream, like, legitimately, because it, it's just horrifying. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> what is wrong with these people? Why are they giving it eights, nines, and tens out of ten? Oh my god. <laughs> just... This, this movie is garbage! <laughs> It's not good. It's so bad. <laughs> I remember this movie sitting. 
Oh my god! Were we were people really that bored in the year two thousand? In my nineteen ninety eight. About ninety eight though. Why did they wait two years? I don't know. Some of these reviews are like from two thousand four, two thousand, two thousand three. No, they just like they're just sitting around like you know what I want to do today. I want to review Jack Fraud. Okay, right, May 30th, I found one. I found like May 30th, two. From... I admit it. I cried. I only found oh like God. two from 1998. Yeah. yeah. What? Heartwarming, great, really fun. There's one from you... 2018 that says underrated, 10 out of 10. Who is even reviewing this? This is a I... family classic. I got it. No. I, 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 I. I just gotta say, I, I've been traumatized by by the snow titty. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I had to bear the witness to titty. that. And the bad the blue screen. screen and green screen. I cannot wait. I can't. I can't wait for when we're doing actual movies, so I can just like screenshot random parts in the movie, make that the thumbnail for these. Oh now, my god! I have found the if most. If I wasn't, it would have 100 percent been the snow titties. Okay, one out of ten. I November 8th, 2000, from Radio Show. Title is, you see, he dies, and then comes back. Dot, 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 dot. The snowman! <laughs> I would gladly have paid my entire yearly cable bill just to sit in a meeting where this movie is greenlit. One of the, one of the classic bad movie warning signs I failed to heed was multiple writers listed in the opening credits. My young nephew, Loney, has been having nightmares about this flick. So will you. Okay, first yeah. off, don't name your kid, don't, me, don't name your kid Loney. Lonely? Second, a second, I agree with um, radio show here. I'm gonna legitimately probably have nightmares with this movie. Oh, yeah. there's oh. one that's even harsher by uh, Martin Hafer from June 6, 2005, titled before you, "Let It." Before you read oh. that, before you read that, why, why am I having so many anxiety? Hey, oh, man, it's the window. I'm afraid to look out the window, honestly, because I'm afraid he's- I'm just afraid he's- he, he's- he's gonna be there. Alright, so Martin <laughs> Hafer says, This review is titled, Letting your child watch this is akin to child abuse. Well, yeah. I fine. agree. Who authorized the making of this movie? I assume that someone must have read the script and still thought it was a movie worth making. But how? The movie is completely depressing and a stupid mess. I can't think of a less appealing holiday movie, except for that terrible Grinch 2000. Excuse me? Okay, okay I will fight you, Martin Hafer. The Grinch movie from 2000 was bad, but it's a fun kind of bad. That was I like not this, bad. I like this review from... 2001. The title was just Why. Just, all right, just all right. Why. I'm gonna continue with this. So here's the heartwarming question mark plot. A neglectful father is in a rock slash blues band. FYI, Michael Keaton's singing was surprisingly good. Though he did right. not make up for the rest of the movie. Anyway, he wants to make it big and gets the chance to do an important gig on Christmas Eve. While traveling there, he's in an accident and is killed. I felt it served him right because he was behaving like a selfish jerk. <laughs> but I'm sure Why? many children that's were traumatized right. when this occurred. Yeah, that's not right, because they don't- they keep their dog outside! Like, there's like one scene where the dog's like inside the house during like these like- in, like three foot- three foot deep snow! Like, like, put your dog inside, dude! Later, for no discernible reason, his son's wish is to have his dad return results in Keaton being reincarnated as a really creepy looking snowman. This is the second opportunity to traumatize the kids, as he wasn't particularly cute or endearing, just plain creepy. It's true. Keaton and his creep. son somehow manage to renew their love for each other, and then Keaton melts providing a third opportunity to induce childhood trauma in our kids. That's it. Nothing fun, nothing cuddly, nothing worth wasting your time seeing. It is depressing and banal. This is true. 
Okay, I agree with him, Whoa. except for what he said about Grinch. Okay. This movie could have been better. Um, Tim Allen was considered to play the snowman. This but, movie? <laughs> but he was um, shooting the final season of A Home Improvement, so he didn't do it. So there's an alternate universe out there where friggin' Tim Allen was Jack Frost. This movie would have worked as a, um, a cart- straight video cartoon movie that was like, that was like, like, almost, yeah. like, not even feature length, it would have been better. Like, if it were a cartoon, that would probably make it a lot less creepy. Because with cartoons, you can get away with weird stuff like a talking sponge or whatever. Movies that came out before then. Heck, movies from the 80s had better effects. Oh Alright. <laughs> I like the quote section. It's just the first... The Charlie. Rory, you know what it's like to, not, like to have no dad. And he's, Rory Buck says, Yeah, I do. It sucks. A snow bad, a snow dad is better than no dad. The snow dad is better than no dad. The second one. The second one, Jack, my balls are freezing. I never thought I'd say that with a smile on my face. Seven out of seven found this interesting. I'm gonna share that. Yeah, I'm gonna share this on Twitter. What? Ugh. Watch on Prime Video, rent for three dollars. No. Yeah. No. The way we I'd watched it, it was eat the three dollars quality. But it was perfect for the movie we were watching. I, I, I Let me look through the honestly. trivia. Trust me, trust me. It, it, the movie was that bad. It was. I, this I, movie I, made this, this movie made me cry as a kid. What? What? I had some little standards. All right. You just this was, this was just horrifying. Like ge- it was a genuinely <laughs> horrifying movie. Not even joking. <laughs> that's not even that's not even a joke. No, I legitimately screamed at one point during wa- watching what? this. The last so song in the movie was used in the movie Twister. That's about a tornado. <laughs> oh. God, that was, what even was that? <laughs> this was released one year after a horror movie also called Jack Frost. Yeah, which is about pa- a killer. Pa- pa- you thought you thought the pa- snowman was bad wasn't in that as scary movie. as this. Blah! Oh, yeah, I see the poster Charlie. of it and ugh, ugh. Charlie. Of what? It doesn't of what? it doesn't even look like that in the movie, the Jack Frost horror movie. Yeah, it's the, the, crappy the film. cover the crappy art film. this looks like something you would buy at Spirit Halloween. Um Charlie. Wait, about the, the horror Sorry. movie one? Talk about the horror movie Jack Frost. Yeah. Hello. It's just a crappy snowman snowman <laughs> um prop. <laughs> don't talk don't talk about that one don't talk about that that one bathroom scene because this is because that's too much. But dad But dad, did you call me butt dad? I ought to make you butt boy. But climbs into car. Bye butt family. Six out of six pounds interesting. Mel Gibson was considered for the role of Jack Frost, but turned it down to do conspiracy theory instead. First words as a snowman. I'm home. One out of one pound is interesting. <laughs> alright, alright. Let me see Wait. here. Okay. The budget for this movie... Okay, get this. The budget for the movie was $85 million. God. Okay, I like this. Jack discovers he's a snowman. Jack. Sees his genital, genital, genitals are gone. Oh no! That's the oh, quote. No. <laughs> and yeah, the movie only grossed thirty-four million. E. It oh, didn't earn back half its budget. Why are they just choosing these just terrible quote? Jack is pelted with two snowballs, which stick to his chest and become like boobs. Jack, nah, throws them back when I one found it interesting. 
God. No titty. Apparently in the credits, it also says, uh, no snowmen were harmed in the making of this movie. I wish they were harmed. I wish they were harmed. The like tagline them. is, Jack Frost is getting a second chance to be the world's coolest dad, dot, 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 if he doesn't melt first. I don't like so many anymore. <laughs> I feel glad I that I didn't really again. get... I only made, like, one snowman right. as a kid. There was three writers, technically, and then one person made the... We have Mark Steven Johnson to thank for this story. And then Mark Steven Johnson wrote it. Mark. Steve Bloom wrote it. Jonathan Robert wrote it. And Jeff Mark. Mark. wrote it. I have one question. Why? This could have been like this could have been like an okay movie. This could have been a nice heartwarming movie if you did if you, if it was like animated. But why? 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 Why would you? Why would you do it? Apparently, this is also on IMDb's list of movie flops. <laughs> this is just. What did Mark? What else did Mark Stephen Johnson make or write? All right, seriously, like, all, jo all jokes what? aside. aside. The, the dude what? who wrote this movie wrote Christopher Robin. How? Wait, he's making the new Thomas movie. Wait. Oh, that's just great. How oh, do you oh, write? Great. Thomas is gonna be the week created version of the kid's father or something. That's How really do good. you write something like this, but then you write Christopher Robin? What? He wrote Grumpy Old Men, Ghost Rider, and Daredevil. <gasps> oh crap, is, is that the one with Bring Me Back to Life? Daredevil? Uh, is, is oh my god, it is! Daredevil is like... All the 2000s edge put into one movie. Oh my <laughs> god, it's the it's the 2003 one. I swear, Did I you... have the VHS of this somewhere. We have, yeah, I have two DVDs. That isn't... I only remember this movie because of the edginess of it. We oh no, that. wait. No way! It was the same. It was. It was. He's not making the new Thomas movie. No, that was the direct. It was a director. It's Mark. Mark Fo Froster. Foster. Forster. I don't know. No idea. But how did he <laughs> write Christopher Robin? I just. All jokes aside, it's just a bad, bad movie. I didn't. I, I didn't. Ex I didn't expect the effects to hold up that awfully. Okay. Man. Except for, the, except for the blue screen. It looks like a YTP. That's Come YouTube on, poop boys, for the boys. uninitiated. Come on, boys. Where's, where's our Jack Frost YouTube poops? Wait, I what? Just, he was an was actor on Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? Who was? The, uh... Michael, the Mark Steven Johnson. Did you not know that Michael Keaton was Beelzebub and Batman? Uh, how does that happen? I like the I like the genres: this comedy, drama, and family. This is not a family. okay. Drama and family, I can see. Comedy, where is it? I, 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 almost, almost straight. That's almost a straight up like. That one scene at the beginning of the movie. They're straight up about. They're straight up in bed together. You have to go at it. <laughs> they're, they they assumed the position. What's the position. Like, like this is a PG movie. They they didn't mention this on the on on the on the mild sexual stuff. There was like there was like three different there's like three different curse words in that movie. <laughs> and they, they never mentioned they mentioned it. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna go back oops. and see the parent the parental guide guide again see if they mentioned it. Just, I'm a, I'm a concerned parent. 
of no kids, got, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to check They got these. some continuity errors. Despite the fact they advanced ahead a year, everyone looks the same. Oh, yeah, Kit knows. Don't forget the scarf. Yeah, the, like, when he's putting on, like, the button, you see, like, the scarf on him, and then, and then, like, the next, like, part, like, he's, like, putting the scarf on him. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> the tour sheet on the fridge Ultimate says the Denver what? concert is on the 22nd. The next day, the 23rd, Charlie gets home from school and oh. Jack is still traveling. The 24th is Charlie's hockey game. And then that night that Jack says to go to the cabin. And then the next day, the 25th, is when Jack gets the phone call for tomorrow. There's no alternate versions. I thought there was. I guess not. So... He's going... So the reason he died is because he was three days late to a concert. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh there, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it's mild in sex and nudity. Jack, husband, and Gabby, wife, have a, have a few kissing parts, including one where Jack climbs over her on their bed and kisses her. They are fully dressed. They assume the position! <laughs> about the position anything but that violence and gore charlie and many gore. of the kids get into a snowball battle reminiscent of a military war scene what no, did what? we watch the same movie kind of was there's like a helicopter war like... scene. <laughs> this movie was scarier than war Ad alcohol drugs and smoking although it's not tobacco related a neighborhood bully is seen with his mouth that is pretending Something in his mouth pretending it's a cigar. And then also, ten year, a 10-year-old boy makes a joke about his mom packing Martinez, mar martinis in his lunch. Okay, he was 11, but whatever. The, the, the beginning scene of, like, um, the dad talking to his son when he gives him the harmonica in the movie. That was such an awkward scene. It was so awkward. It must have been, like, so bad. They're, like, mumbling, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, maybe they're time virgin time. martinis, you know, hey, the kind without alcohol. Or the ones one with the questionable, pa questionable past. There's this one part that's a little, that's like a, a few scenes later, when his dad's still alive. Talking to his dad, it's like, oh, we'll, we'll take a, um, we'll, we'll, this, this is like, this weekend, we'll, we'll take a, um, a trip down to the cabin. And the, the, the son, like, since his dad never spends time with him or anything, barely talks to him. All he has to say to that is, okay, cool. He doesn't even, he's not even what? excited. So connections. Cool. I'm trying to connect this to <laughs> other Snowman. media? Snowman has satanic connections. Oh, oh, <laughs> the Nostalgia Critics Ghost Rider review mentions it. Yeah, Nostalgia Critic did a review on it. And, and it's like uh, the only, it's like the only the Soundtrack Craig joke I really like is like um, in the scene where it's like spinning around. He's like, I'm going to hell. Oh, it's like, it's really funny, the way he says it. You know? And it was also <laughs> mentioned in a Good Luck Charlie episode. How did I like this really? movie? Really? And it was on Watch Mojo's top ten ridiculous movie plots, where it Wait, was ranked number with seven. When you're a it kid, was the New York Christmas episode. When you're a young kid, Weird. you're just not. Do you, when you're a young kid, you just not notice awful, like, like awful effects. You just oh, see, oh! It was in the you, Good you Luck Charlie Jesse crossover. I swear to God, I, I do not remember that at all. I've seen that special. That's weird. What happened? I mean, they <laughs> mention it, but they don't. All right. Some just like vague mention of like Jack Frost or something. It was also in Watch Mojo's top ten actors who missed out a role written for them, where they said George Clooney would be a great Jack Frost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure wait, it was like wait. he was like supposed to be the actor for it. I'm pretty sure. Wait, wait, he was also Batman. What the heck? That's a weird coincidence. Michael Keaton, what else? Oh wait, it's, oh, wait, it's Warner Brothers, never mind. Oh, and it was also oh parodied god. in Robot Chicken. Oh my god. We can contact Michael Keaton through IMDb. 
you can get, you can contact his agent. I'm, I should contact. I should email. I should email him and be like, why? <laughs> attach a po- like... p- picture. Attach the poster and just be like, why? Hey, don't <laughs> don't harass famous people's <laughs> agents. Imagine being blocked by Michael Keaton. I'm not <laughs> harassing his agent. I'm harassing him. <laughs> Imagine being the brag that you're that you're blocked by Michael Keaton on Twitter. Oh, that's it! I'm calling my agent. Oh, his, oh, oh he was the voice of Ken in Toy Story Three. Wow. Yep, I didn't know that. And oh the, wait, he's, he, all, he was, he's he also was, the he was, voice of Chick Hicks in Cars. I didn't know this. Kachiga. He, he, he was Beetle, also Beetlejuice. Oh my god! Oh my god! He was Jack Frost. Oh my god, he's a Jack Frost, I didn't know that. Oh hey, he was also in the 2019 Dumbo movie. We don't- Oh god! Oh, <laughs> oh hey, he was, on, he was in uh, Mr. Rogers' we... Neighborhood. I, I don't think we'll ever do that one, because shit, just totally- We no. tried to watch we, it. Yeah. I, that is the one I refuse, we're, ever, we're never doing Dumbo. We're never doing that Dumbo. Yeah. Sing it right yeah. now. Sing it right here, right now. I refuse to have that on this podcast. Any other movie. I don't care what it is. To a point. <laughs> but we're never watching Dumbo for this podcast. I'm not saying Oh, hey, he was in done. the Scary Car movie. I. Herpes just, Fully Loaded. I, 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 I need to go on a tangent. I grew up loving Dumbo. Dumbo was the movie I watched all the time, right? Right? I, I loved it. And you, you know what happened? You know what happened? They ruined it! Freak, freak, you hear pink elephant scene with Tim Burton. You know what I'm expecting? Good scene, but no, it's just elephants. And they're like, <laughs> pink elephant. She's like, yeah, so? It's, it's stupid! Alright, I'm done. <laughs> that was a good tangent. Thanks. Well, I, I feel better. What else was Michael did Keaton you, in? Uh, did you get your rant out and, and your tears? Oh, he was the English voice actor for Porco Rosso. I, I still haven't watched that movie. Me neither. <laughs> I haven't seen Dumbo? it yet. I have it. I have to watch it. Just who? Who did he play in Dumbo? Uh, he played. Uh, hold on. I thought you, uh, I thought you watched Dumbo. I did, but I don't remember him being. V. A. Vandeveer. Hold on, I'll I'll look this guy up. V. A. Vandeveer. Oh, he's I'm, the I'm look- he played the bad guy in 2019 Dumbo. He was a bad guy. Oh, that was I thought so. My God! Oh God! The poster for it with him on. Oh God! Oh. Are we gonna? Oh. Are we gonna have a lot, a lot more fun <laughs> with Prep and Landing? I remember. I. <laughs> I remember. I only got to see that movie because we were desperate for like a family thing to do. I saw it in the theater, and I just, I just, I just, I don't, I so, don't know. Oh. Oh, no. It's sad when, it is sad when you have a worse lead than when you have, like, it's sad when you got a worse lead role than Jack Frost. How are you in something worse? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I'd rather watch Jack Frost. (laughs) It horrifies me. It makes me want to cry and makes me want to ball go into the field position and knock him out of it until that freaking snowman is gone <laughs> but it doesn't insult me like Dumbo does all right i'm done oh my god <laughs> you're rage. wow uh, it's like me it's like this me might be with... one of our longer videos i have so, I have so like so much pent up legit rage so when I, I could just like bring it out just for like fake anger i love it okay i i have i have a i have a pure hatred for li- for lion king 2019 <laughs> they did a remake, but they didn't, they didn't change anything. It's literally just a remake. It's just literally they just. The, no. just took yeah, the they arc. were like marketing it like it's gonna be a more realistic Lion King. Okay. It looks awful. It's, pra- it's practically line for line, 
except a yeah. few different lines. I mean, one, 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 one I know the thing. Lion King one, by one, heart, and I saw that movie comparing the yeah. two. One of the only, one of the only things that's different is Timon and Pumbaa's dialogue. Oh yeah, and the fact they removed uh, Big Pig and replaced it with BR Gas. I hated that so much. Also, why did they make why did they try to make the hyenas boring? They tried to give them character. They also removed Ed. I yeah. haven't seen either. They removed Ed. Um, I probably just been horrible like a monsters. Lot. What did Ed do to you, huh? Huh? Why you gotta change everything? <laughs> I just hope that that Mulan movie finally makes Disney come to their senses and realize <laughs> the sin that they've done. Yeah, okay, nope. sure. Too bad. Hey, Too Mulan is actually pandemic. a bomb. They're gonna blame the pandem pandemic. They're not gonna yin, yin, it's like Sponge yin, on the yin. Run. They're gonna, they're gonna blame the release schedule. They're not gonna blame it being a mediocre movie. Yindi, are you aware that um, a bomb means bad, right? Yes, because it was financially <laughs> failure. Oh, um, Disney. For the and then the Chinese movie. Pop, you're cutting out a lot. Right. So, you're like <laughs> it's just like you're like just like the movie. Okay, the Chinese. Say it again? Okay, yeah. the <laughs> okay. The, the, the movie. Fun. They made the movie strictly to appeal to the Chinese market. The movie is historical culture. On top of that, the people of China didn't even like it. They thought it, they didn't even like care about it. They said they hated it. Yeah. On top of that, they made Mulan overpowered. I get it. They wanted to be like. The whole girl power, you can do it. You mean you mean in power? Yeah, but here's the thing. If your character doesn't grow, they're just boring. Instead of it being a female empowerment message, it's more like, oh sure, you can be a female and powerful as long as you get some predetermined fate. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. I mean, Rey from the new Star Wars movies was a better empowerment message than the new Mulan. I'm just so tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... I'm just tired. Yeah, we might have to wrap it up. No, no, I'm not like, tired, like, like exhausted. I'm just... I, 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 it's this movie. <laughs> hey, we can...